you guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my protein cookies. You've all been asking for it on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, so here it is. It's ready for you. I think I've perfected it and I think you'll enjoy it and it's super easy. First things first, what are the ingredients you're going to need? So you are going to need protein powder. I'm going to be using the Quest peanut butter protein powder because I love peanut butter. You're going to need some egg whites. These egg whites are available from Muscle Food and using the discount code below you get 5% off all orders. One of the main ingredients is chickpeas. Now the chickpeas usually come in like a water um, can and you can just simply drain them, dry them and then blitz them in your Nutribullet. So here we have my chickpeas ready and they're in kind of a doughy consistency when they're broken down. Chickpeas are a great source of protein with about 6.2 grams of protein per 100 grams and then they've also got a lot of fibre in them so hitting on almost 7 grams per 100 so good source of fibre plus good source of protein so there's the bulking up your protein. So I am using the Fage 0% total Greek yogurt as my um, kind of moisture base. Then we have peanut butter. So we have the Dr. Zach's high protein salted caramel peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter and uh, just about 20 grams into your mixture, delicious. You also need half a teaspoon of baking powder, pinch of salt, and then we've got some more fiber. We've got um, psyllium husks. So these are the whole psyllium husks and they make the consistency a bit thicker and more gloopy. And then if you want to add them in, and I'm going to, some dark chocolate chips. These are going to make it delicious. So let's get started. Growing up, learning about how my mind works Starting up the day, looking through my 49 shirts This works, grab a towel, freshen up Cup of coffee, take a seat, and really start waking up I got a open mind when it comes to life I have a plan, and my plan is to live it right I've seen a lot in my eyes through my visions What can happen fast if you really start tripping People have their ups, downs, lows, and that's just how it goes I tell them your life is a bitch, and that jealousy woes Chilling with a couple hoes from the north side Right around town, smoking us on Lake Shore Drive cruising exhibits air smelling fresh and the vision is vivid you gotta see how we live and i think we really gonna get it set my life on cruise control i got my tunes turned up high as usual and i'm feeling fine there's nothing you can do or say to fuck up my shine my head is strong i'm so high you know i'm feeling fine there's nothing you can do or say to fuck up so i have the oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius and then we have a baking tray with some greaseproof paper on top and then you're simply going to drop out six cookies so this mixture makes six cookies if you want to make more just double triple quadruple the ingredients Not only do I not care, so does no one else see the sun's up high as the noon rise. So here we have our cookies, and they're not looking beautiful yet, but we have to leave a little bit of space between them because they will grow. There's baking powder in there, they will expand and kind of get melty goodness. So I'm gonna put them in the oven, preheated 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. I'll update you on the exact time once they're done. Just wanna do something different Probably something other than what everyone was visioning Paradise I'm picturing Six figure figuring Passing off fails So it's been about 20, just over 20 minutes I'm just gonna check to see if they are ready And look at them Yum So here we have them Ooh. Yummy Chocolate chip cookies So here we have plate of fresh hot cooked cookies that are 2.3 grams of fat 9.8 grams of carbs and 8.3 grams of protein 
So remember to tag me in any cookies that you make yourself. The cookies themselves can be stored in an airtight container and can even be frozen and eaten later. So these are a great snack for all the family. In the comments below, please give me ideas for my next recipe. And if you like it, give me the thumbs up. Thanks guys. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drink.